well is the first syllable of welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope that you will find some inspiration maybe a pick me up anything of the sorts that'll make you feel better about growing orchids or if you hadn't thought about it if you hadn't reached the point of why grow orchids why am i doing this to myself then maybe this can also help you to think about things in the future should that situation ever arrive, which I hope it doesn't, but you know, just in case. For those of us heading into the more challenging months of the year when it comes to growing orchids, I thought I would revisit a community post I made a couple of months ago. In that community post, I asked a question. If you can single out one thing, what part of the orchid growing hobby do you like best? Many of you responded and thank you so much for taking part because these are your responses which I want to share with everybody who watches this video. Because personally, I know I'm going to struggle during the dark and cold winter months. Trust me, I really do struggle. And if I am struggling, I know that my orchids will struggle as well. Seeing as most of us are growing intermediate to warm growing orchids, maybe some of you will face similar challenges as mine moving forward. Maybe some of you will also feel discouraged and start questioning why did you do this to yourself as in grow orchids. Because cultivating and caring for orchids is easy when it is warm. There's plenty of life and the living is easy. But the purpose of this video as mentioned is to encourage and remind everyone who may have some doubts about why they are putting themselves through this when the going gets tough. Why are we doing this to ourselves when the going gets tough? It may not even be that the climate will make you stop and question yourself. It may be as you lose orchids or you're not seeing them thrive, etc. Whatever the reason, here are the responses from other orchid hobbyists and I sincerely hope that some if not all the answers resonate with you and motivate you with whatever challenges you are facing to keep going and to keep growing. Meanwhile, I never answered my own question in the post, but I will do so at the end of this video. So Nari Pitman right out of the gate came in with her answer to the question. She loves the growth season, loves seeing new roots and leaves. The blooms are just a reward for the hard work for her and her orchids. Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents confirmed that the growing phase is what she enjoys watching, amongst other things like grooming, watering, checking for new growth, and then the spikes. Sarah Rossi, spotting that first green root tip after the initial repot, knowing that your efforts were not in vain. Perfect. I love that as well. <laughs> Wanda Shaw said what she enjoys most is seeing her orchids grow and know that she's able to give them what they need even though they're indoors. Mama's orchids and backyard loves to see flower buds form and the daily changes as the flowers open. Brand new Sherelle seeing any new growth whether it's a new spike root or leaf. She feels rewarded and loves it because all her hard work has paid off. And then she adds, my orchids are my babies. And how many of us can relate to our orchids being our babies? I know I can, and that's why I call them kiddos. Trisha's orchid life, orchid ninja Trish son, hey! For her, the number one part of growing orchids is what it does for her mental health and adds, she even enjoys watering as she's able to pick them up and take a look for some surprises, be they good or bad. Julie's orchids. That's Orchid Ninja Julie Sun. Hey! For her, it is watching the flask babies grow. And this is something super interesting as well because Julie Sun has a whole nursery of babies, no chance of blooms for years, a lot of care having to grow them on, and even without blooms in sight, the inspiration of cultivating orchids right out of the flask that is dedication and i find that amazing patricia looks she just likes futzing and fiddling and examining and she uses the phrase play with her kids that is the feeling and the same here i love referring to my time with my orchids as playing with them as well and <laughs> the word futzing i shall adopt it's a great word <laughs> joy revert let me correct that. Orchid Ninja Joy Revert Sun. Hey! Also known as number five. Love you, Joy Sun. She loves watching new growth. It is always a delightful surprise. 
Better pal fish enjoys seeing a happy orchid, loves the growth phase because it's proof that the care was right. It is so motivating when that happens, yes. And by the way, better pal fish, how are your neos doing? It has been a while, so I hope that you are seeing progress. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed and sending you good vibes. Amina Samaikina couldn't make her mind up. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a tough question to answer, but she said all steps, actually. And then she pinpoints something, being that it is more exciting to find a new root or leaves or growth or buds while doing daily checkups. Uh, maybe not quite pinpoint, but, you know, anything new. <laughs> let's, let's narrow that down. <laughs> Carlotta J put out that orchids constantly challenge her to learn more and try new plants. Francis Colinaris loves to see them when they have new growths and roots. Sula, watching them grow, so that means new roots, new growths. It's always such a pleasure to see them. You are not alone there, as you can tell. Sandra G likes it best when she managed to get a sick plant or a young plant to the stage of a healthy first-time bloomer. Nuri's Orchid Passion loves just looking to each one it de-stresses her, loves finding new growths and spikes, but one of her favorite is seeing new roots with green tips, and I see a pattern emerging, do you? Michael McCarthy comes in promptly and breaks that pattern. <laughs> the blooms! I can somewhat relate with a wanting a new one to bloom once another orchid has bloomed, and you're kind of done with it. Well, as long as I have time to film and dedicate, but yes, I've got blooms, happy days, moving on, which one's next? I get it, I get it. Michelle Carini just likes to look them over all the time, every day, and I can only say ditto to that. It's not like anything has changed in the three hours from the last time I did that, but yes, I hear you. <laughs> it's always something, short and sweet, the escape, and that is so true. Schmel Leip isn't quite sure it would appear. I know the question was hard, and I'm not joking when I say that, but coming in with root tips being the part that he likes best. Maybe? <laughs> so, what do you take from these responses? When I said there's a pattern emerging, in summary, blooms are a bonus. Isn't that amazing? Now, I know that I don't have hundreds of replies, but I still find that we can take something from this because... Who buys an orchid because they see a leaf in the picture and says, I need me that orchid because the leaves look so nice. <laughs> I've never done that. If you have bought an orchid because of the leaves and only the leaves because the picture spoke to you because the leaves were so pretty, let me know in the comments. But out of all those that commented, and thank you once again, all of you for doing so, out of all those that commented, only two mentioned blooms nothing about fragrance or specifically saying the best thing about growing orchids is for the blooms. The majority of the responses that even mentioned the word blooms confirmed they are a bonus. But you see also what is happening with all the replies. It appears that it wasn't so easy to pinpoint a single reason of what it is about the orchid hobby that they like best. So, whenever the hobby gets challenging, and I know that I started the video off with my feelings of foreboding, but let's put this into perspective. Whenever the hobby gets challenging and you start to question yourself, if one thing goes wrong, these responses highlight there are so many other reasons why you should keep going and keep growing, orchids. One thing going wrong should not deter you from thinking that this hobby is not for you. Know that whatever challenge you may be facing on a specific day or over an extended period of time, <clears throat> point to me, note to self, the positive outweighs the negative by so many factors. And now to my one reason that I like best about growing orchids is they keep me sane. I know you might think that I'm contradicting myself because I'm already anxious about the challenges of the months ahead but they do keep me sane. <laughs> my anxieties would be off the charts if I did not have my orchids. Imagine that. No, don't. I don't even want to think about it. Let's not go there. <laughs> so in order to settle my anxieties down based on what lies ahead short term and long term, 
I have changed my mindset from bending over backwards to save every single orchid to survival of the fittest. Orchids that cannot handle my current circumstances will not make it, but those that can will. Unless I do something horribly wrong, of course, but that is not the plan. <laughs> you see, having accepted that the collection is evolving based on my circumstances, which I cannot change at the moment, I have come to terms with a new reality. I have changed my approach from fearing the loss that may or may not happen to being somewhat curious as to who will we still have around come spring 2023 and who we won't. The challenge is not about trying to not lose orchids, instead to document properly what happens to XYZ orchid that is struggling because of the conditions and this in turn may help someone down the line to make the right decision when it comes to which orchids may suit their growing conditions best, including their budget. Because what I'm going to be showcasing in the coming months is the raw, the real, and probably the heavy. It can be a little bit taxing to watch. It will be taxing for me to even show it, to try to explain it without sounding boo-hoo. What I'm pointing out is the reality of growing orchids is expensive and the current climate in the world and the economy, well, we have to make some decisions sometimes. But understand, I'm not saying that I'm excited about this change of mindset. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying, it gives me a positive approach and purpose to continue learning more about my collection and sharing those experiences with you. So, in future videos, if I show orchids that did not make it in a going, going, gone video, please don't think that I don't care about what is leaving my collection. But know that I have had plenty of time to come to terms with the possible outcomes and am not mourning the loss of those that may not pull through. In addition to that, I already know that I will not be replacing orchids that I have lost, seeing as by that time I know they could not withstand the growing conditions, the climate, the circumstances, all of that combined. It would be silly of me to go and replace them. It would just mean that the inevitable is just around the corner and would happen again somewhere down the line. Maybe facing any challenges and turning the situation around and trying to make it into a positive can help you as well if you are feeling down and out. I don't want to assume that everybody is in the doldrums, but I also don't want to assume that everything is going super duper well. The reality of this hobby is what it is, and we have to evolve with our mindset accordingly so. I hope that maybe you noticed the change in my thought process and it is possible that that could help you as well. But if my thought process did not help, then all the reasons from those that have commented, that is a real source of inspiration, I would say. If you are feeling as if this hobby is all too much, having a bad phase in your journey with your orchids, you've come to the right place for inspiration and encouragement to keep going and keep growing. There are so many factors that make this hobby worthwhile, as you can see by all the responses, and should you need any kind of help, encouragement, or advice about what is going on in your collection, you have really come to the right place. You can bring that to my attention, either in the comments or fill out the Orchid Details form, the link of which is always pinned in the comments section. Know that we have to evolve as orchid growers as well. These orchids have all evolved in order to survive. It is not realistic to think that everything remains stagnant and it's just a cycle of grow, roots, blooms, grow, roots, blooms. There are challenges in between. They may happen sporadically on a single day. They may actually extend themselves over several months. But either way, we are dealing with creatures that have been around for millennia. Sometimes it is us that stand in our own way. And trust me, I'll be listening back to my own words when it comes December, January, February, and oh my goodness, I hope only those three months <laughs> just to stay on course. But I do look forward to, and I mean that sincerely, I do look forward to documenting orchids that are struggling and going through the process as to why they're struggling and then also tell you why I cannot do anything about it. And again, these videos, should they come, maybe they will be far and few in between, 
maybe they will be back to back. But should they come, not for one moment do I want you to interpret them as boo-hoo, woe is me. My intention is for them to be a learning experience, not just for myself, for the channel and anyone else that has certain difficulties as well. And well, it is my mission to try and achieve that. And with that mindset, I just hope I have the time and maybe some light <laughs> to be able to film. <laughs> anyway, I thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you heard here, if you think you're interested to know what's going to happen in the coming winter, spring months in my collection, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you liked what you heard, that word like, I don't know if you already liked the video, but consider liking the video as well. It would help out tremendously. And if you know somebody or think somebody may be struggling in any of your groups or orchid societies and somebody needs a pick me up, well, please share this video. I'm sure that that person will thank you for it. At least I hope so. Thank you to everybody that also replied to the community post. You are very much appreciated. Thank you. I hope your orchids are doing well. Wherever in the world you grow them, in whatever setup method that you grow them, I just hope that they're growing well and that they bring you a lot of joy and they continue to do so for many, many years. Have yourselves a fabulous day. One condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.